The two most common staging systems you'll hear described with reference to colorectal cancer are the TNM staging system and the Dukes classification. Whilst the TNM system is most commonly used, and Dukes is largely historical, it's really important for medical students to know both and be able to relate the two, as well as understand the basic concepts behind them and patient's prognosis. In both cases, the systems incorporate features with regards to the size and depth of extension of the tumour itself, as well as the involvement of lymph nodes and the presence of metastases. Starting with the TNM system, T refers to the tumour itself, so how far has the tumour grown through the bowel wall? In T1, the tumour is in the inner layer of the bowel. In T2, the tumour has grown into the muscle layer of the bowel. In T3, the tumour is extended into the outer lining of the bowel wall. And in T4, the tumour has grown through the outer lining of the bowel wall. Next in the TNM staging is N, which refers to lymph nodes and how many lymph nodes are affected by the cancer. With N0, it means that no lymph nodes contain any cancer cells. With N1, cancer cells are found in up to three nearby lymph nodes. Whereas in N2, cancer cells are identified in four or more lymph nodes that are found localized to the cancer. Moving on to M, this refers to whether the cancer has metastasized to any other organs. If there's no evidence of metastasis, then this is M0. But if the cancer has spread to other organs, such as the liver or the lungs, then this is M1. Based upon the results of the TNM system, the colorectal cancer can be provided with a number stage between 1 and 4, which you can see demonstrated here in this table. In a nutshell, in stage 1, the cancer hasn't spread outside of the bowel wall. In stage 2, the cancer has grown into or through the outer layer of the bowel. In stage 3, the cancer is spread to nearby lymph nodes. And finally, in stage 4, the cancer has spread to other organs. The Dukes classification incorporates the same three components as the TNM, and therefore, we can demonstrate direct equivalences between the Duke staging of A to D and the TNM staging of 1 to 4. In Dukes A, the earlier stage, the cancer has grown into the inner layer or the muscle layer of the bowel wall. In Dukes B, the cancer has grown through the outer layer of the bowel wall, but hasn't spread to any lymph nodes or other organs. In Dukes C, the cancer has spread to lymph nodes. And in Dukes D, there has been metastasis of the cancer to other parts of the body. The equivalences between the TNM and Duke system can be seen in this table. So this might be a good time to pause the video and get better acquainted. The point to note about the TNM and the Duke's classification is that quite logically, the further the colorectal cancer has spread into the bowel itself or into lymph nodes and other organs, then the poorer the patient's prognosis. However, somewhat reassuringly, advances in our screening and management of colorectal cancer has led to significant improvements in the five-year prognosis of patients with the condition, so we're definitely moving in the right direction.